Hey guys, this is Nawan Azmat and welcome to my new lectures of client side development using jQuery and Ajax from beginner to advanced. We are going to start the lectures of jQuery and Ajax for those people who are beginners in programming and working with server side and want to learn the client side client side tools like jQuery and Ajax and want to develop their application with the help of using jQuery and Ajax uh, so the course is for those beginners and we are going to cover complete basics and advanced and at the end of this lecture we are also going to make a complete project with the help of using jQuery and Ajax so for the start we are going to start with the basics so we have to use Visual Studio Code and after that after the some lectures we are going to start with our practical implementation with our projects using Visual Studio, C Sharp, SQL Server and jQuery and Ajax to build our complete project with the help of using jQuery and Ajax ok so it starts with the basics ok guys what you need to do is firstly you need to install a Visual Studio Code if you don't have so go to the Chrome and install Visual Studio Code and because we are going to start with the basics with the help of this tool Visual Studio Code ok and with that uh, I'm going to firstly create the folder here so it is easy for me to open it and work ok uh, after that I'm going to open it and just click here CMD after click click on simply write code space code so it will open in Visual Studio Code look out okay the reason of creating the folder is that when we are going to create our files or folder it will automatically create in our that main folder ok so first of all what I am going to do is I am going to create a main file that is index.html ok I, I just create my new file and it will automatically add it in my main folder that I have created earlier ok just check it out look out this is our file and uh, I'm going to suggest you to go for extensions and create and add a bootstrap for bootstrap 4 font or and I suggest you to install a bootstrap 4 font awesome and free pro snippets so it will be helpful for, for you guys okay so I have created here a file index.html and what I'm going to do is I just write v4 here v4 okay and I just press add a double tab the reason of create why I'm doing this look out v4 and dollar look out it will automatically edit the bootstrap link javascript and our jQuery okay this is for our bootstrap 4 stripper that I have show you okay so we are going to start with the basics of jQuery and Ajax what you need to do is after creating your page I am going to show you again how to create a page okay this is our page and I am going to remove this and just draw b4 dollar just double just tab here okay it will automatically edit our scripts and the link of bootstrap okay after that you have to add the script tag here okay and uh, first of all I'm going to start with a document dot ready what does it mean to call first I am going to create the function of document dot ready document dot ready means it works when we load our page first time okay it means that whenever we load our page in first time on a browser the document ready function runs just like just same like that in our server side if you are if you are working on the ASP.NET 
so we have a pay post back method or page load method so it means that whenever the page runs first time the page load methods call the same like that in the client side document ready functions work okay what i'm going to do is in our first document ready i'm going to just add alert and i'm going to write some the example is here hey, this is my first jquery ajax class okay and if i just right click here and i copy path and i'm going to i'm going here and i'm just going to check it out and i'm going here and i'm checking the output of my file and paste here the path of my copy lookout whenever it runs we have a option the on document ready means the first time when we have to load the page the following document will pop up or read so i have added alert option in document dot ready hey this is my first query class okay so if i just click on okay now what i'm going to do is next i'm just going to add here uh, input text input type text id i'm going to just set the id here text okay and uh, just like just same like that uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the name here and i'm going to copy the id how to get the value from text box in jquery so how can you do this you just create the variable here for a is equals to just add the dollar sign brackets double inverted comma with the id we use hash and paste the id of text box text one okay where here i'm going to set a value okay this following lines get the value from the text box with the help of using jquery if you want to get the value of text box with the help of jquery you can use that following line okay also what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another input and i'm going to here add a button okay value is equals to value is equals to save and the next thing is that what i'm going to do is i'm also going to set the id here what is it mean i'm going to i set the id get well okay okay and i'm also going to add some classes here just like waiting and waiting and success and just look out the output you don't have any output okay so why let me check the output first look out this is our document ready even fires on our page load and we have an alert and this is our text box and this is our button okay now the next step what we're going to do we have to get the id value of text box that we have right here and just when we click on the save button save the following pop up of alert will show with with the text box input that we in will that we will input in our text box okay so when we click on save button the following pop up alert will pop up and the text we have insert in our input text box will show in our pop up okay so what we are going to do is for that i am going to remove this on our document ready i am going to create a click event in our button button click so how to create a click event just write dollar brackets double inverted comma hash at the value okay 
and after that just add dot we have a click event and add a function under click double bracket okay and now what we are going i'm going to do is i will i have show you a method how to get the value of the xbox okay var a dollar and double inverted comma hash set the id okay sorry and set the id here and dot well okay dot well and var a equals to okay and just set there a alert in a alert i'm going to set a value variable a <coughs> now let's understand the following lines okay i have set here get value this is the id of my button i am going to i am going to create a click event function this function get the value of text box with the help of this line okay and will show in alert okay the click event functions fires when we click on a button so we how to create a click event function button click event function with the help of jquery we have a following line okay as we have to set we have to set it on our double inverted comma with the hash sign in dollar in a curly braces and after that we have to set a click and in a click we have to create a function and after that i'm going to get the value of text box with the help of id we have to get the value with the help of id in jquery with the following line okay and after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to just simple alert this on alert pop up so just go and check the other following output okay just retry this okay we have nothing and i'm going to set it pakistan if i click on the save button look out the following pakistan input text box input will pop up in our alert okay and if i click on again it will show again okay so this is how can you create a click event in jquery the next step what i'm going to do i'm go i want to add this on my table i'm going to create here a table simple table dot table dot table ordered ordered okay t hat okay in a t hat we need tr in a tr we need the h into 2 just tap okay set the headers the headers is country and the action okay and i'm going to set here a t body just a t body okay what i'm going to do what i am going to do the next i am going to set the text input box where do that what we have set in our input box i am going to print as it is in our table okay so for that i am going to set the id of table also table one okay just copy the table id on every click on every click what we have to do we have to get the value of our input text box and we'll set it on our table so how can you do this just add a dollar and set the table name before we table set the table id we have to add the hash sign okay and also that i'm going to set i'm going to use t body what i'm going why i am editing a t body because i want to append this input text box in our t body 
Okay, the body means stable body. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set append in an append. I'm going to add a tr here. Tr open bracket and a close bracket open tag and a close tag sorry and in, in that I'm going to add a td open close and td and what I'm going to do is double inverted comma plus sign and also I'm going to set here a a this is how can you save your input text box in in a table okay and if I just refresh this page we have a table in which we have a header country and an action okay if i click add it on pakistan if i click on the save button look out the following pakistan has been added in our table row okay and if i write any country or city name like we have to it america look out it will automatically add it in our table but, but this line is and this row is empty so what we are going to do the next I am here and I am going to add a error button in our td I am just going to copy this button ok I am going to copy this button and just just paste here ok and set the double inverted comma with the single inverted comma okay like same that and just set here a value add it okay and just go again refresh again and just write again just save it look out your button with edit just same like that I want to add a delete button and a delete button I'm going to copy this button again and just copy and just save paste here and set the here medium danger class of bootstrap okay and set here delete if i just save it control s or you can auto save here check on auto save okay just go there and just go and refresh our page and if i set pk and just save it here look out we have an edit button and we have a delete button okay so guys today we have learned about how to create a document ready which which is an event fire when we have load our page in client side and how to get the input with the help of jQuery and the next uh, what we have done to get the input from jQuery of input text box and save it to our and print it to our table okay with also following option we have set an action button add it and delete what we are going to do in the next step we are going to edit this following row and we have to delete this following row so this is our complete part one with the following insert edit delete option okay so that's all for today thank you very much